Hello, and welcome to another Just Came. So um, today we're gonna have a break from what we were gonna be recording, which is the uh, how to live on two pound a day challenge. And we've got a cat coming to join us in the vlog. This is Toby. Go on down, Toby. So, what are we talking about today? Well, I'm going to get straight into it. And now, the figures I've got in front of me are from 2017. Unfortunately, the figures for 2018, and I was looking for them, haven't yet been released. But uh, we're going to get straight into this. In 2017, 5,821 people took their own lives. Just going to let that sink in for a minute. That's just in the UK. I'm sure the figure from around the world is astronomical. In the UK, 4,382 of those were men. Three quarters of all suicides in the UK are men. And it has been that way since, no, since the 1990s. The largest percentage of suicides amongst men are in men aged 45 to 49. In women, it's 50 to 54. But why are these people taking their own lives? What drives somebody to take their own lives? Well, that's the unanswerable question. I have in front of me my laptop with some information on it. And what they're saying is the main cause of suicide are older people who have lost a spouse through either death or divorce, people who have um, attempted to commit suicide in the past, people with a family history of suicide, people with a friend or co-worker that has committed suicide, people with a history of physical or sexual abuse, they're in a rather high risk group, People that are unmarried, unskilled and unemployed. People who are inclined to violent behaviour or impulsive behaviour. People who have recently been released from psychiatric hospitalisation, which is very often very frightening and very scary, I'm sure, for the people that are being released. People in certain professions, such as police officers, healthcare providers, uh, who work with the terminally ill patients and those people that are terminally ill. And, of course, the diva herself is trying to get in on the vlog. Say hello, Jasper. Right. I mean, I'm recording a very important vlog here about a vet look at me that uh, people need to hear about. So can you mind just being quiet and going away? Thank you, darling. But... What are we looking for? I mean, it's all very well and good as knowing why people take their own lives. But how do we stop it? Can it be prevented? Well, according to this website that I'm on currently, yes, it can. What I'm going to do right now, though, is I'm going to put up in front of you a graph. On the graph, you will see... Um, yellow lines, dark blue lines and pale blue lines. The pale blue lines are men and the yellow ones are women. You can see from the graph that this is um, something that is quite serious amongst men. And there aren't enough men in the world as it is, you know. There's not enough of them to go around. What are the warning signs that we should be looking out for? Let's have a look. Oops, too far. Excessive sadness or moodiness. 
long lasting sadness, mood swings can be a symptom of depression. A major risk for the suicidal. Sudden calmness. Suddenly becoming calm after a period of depression or moodiness can often be a sign that the person has made the decision to end his or her life. So that's something we all must be looking out for. We all have that friend that is, you know, often quite depressed, suffers with depression, and then suddenly they suddenly feel better and they look like they're doing really well. Well, maybe they're not. Maybe they've just decided to take their own lives. So maybe it's time we step in. Withdrawal. Choosing to be alone, avoiding social environments, um, activities that they used to enjoy, um, include the, you know, that they once enjoyed. Changes in personality and appearance. A person who is considering suicide might exhibit a change in attitude or behaviour such as speaking or moving with unusual speed or slowness. In addition, that person might become less concerned about his or her appearance. Well, why would they care about their appearance if they've made the decision to take their own lives? That's the question, isn't it? Dangerous and harmful behaviour. Potentially dangerous behaviour such as reckless driving, engaging in unsafe sex, increased use of drugs, alcohol, might indicate that that person has no, has no value, ha, doesn't consider his life to, his or her life to have any value. A recent trauma or life crisis. Watch out for those people that have uh, major life crises because they can trigger a suicide attempt. Crises include a death of a loved one or a pet, a divorce or breakup of a relationship, the diagnosis of a major illness or loss of job or serious financial trouble. Guys, don't let money be the root of why you, of why you take your own life because, you know, there are people you can talk to. There are things you can do. There are places that you can speak to. And then we're looking at people that are making preparations. Now, what does that mean, making preparations? How do you know that somebody's making preparations? Well, often a person considering suicide will begin to put his or her personal business in order. This might include visiting friends and family members, giving away personal possessions, making a will, cleaning his or her room or home, and some people may even write a note before committing suicide. So if you see anybody that's displaying any of these types of behaviour, you need to be asking some questions. You need to be sitting down with them and saying, are you OK? You know, they're probably going to say, yes, I'm fine. But if you know that person well enough, you'll certainly know that they're not. And threatening suicide. Not everyone that is considering suicide will say so. We all know that. And not everybody who threatens suicide will follow through with it. We also know that. However, this is, however, that every suicide or self-harming threat must be taken seriously. Just because somebody says they're going to do it, don't automatically turn around and say, oh, well, you know, they said they're going to do it, but they never fucking do. Because they might. Them saying to you, I want to kill myself, is them reaching out. Reaching out to you. This is your time to do something about it. Put your arms around that person. Tell them everything is going to be all right. Put them in touch with some groups that can help them. I am going to be putting a list of groups and organisations, you know, on the bottom of the screen and in the description here. So that's what we're looking out for. On a more personal note, I've actually had people in my life that have took their own lives. I know people that have taken their, taken their own life and it can be quite tragic. 
And so now I want to talk to anybody out there that is contemplating suicide. Stop. Don't do it. Think about what you're doing. Think about the people you're leaving behind. You are loved. You are cared for. You are special and your life has meaning. More harm will come from your death than whatever harm you could think of can happen because you're alive. Reach out to somebody. Reach out to me, reach out to a teacher, reach out to your employer, reach out to your wife, your spouse, your mom, your dad, anybody. Just reach out. Don't sit there and think that taking your own life is the only way to go because it isn't. It really isn't the answer. Every life is special. And that includes yours. It doesn't matter how bad things have got. That's never the answer. And to anybody out there that's has somebody come to them that is clearly in distress, clearly depressed, clearly having going through some emotional issues, and the cat's just jumped on the table and made the whole thing wobble. Thank you, Jasper. But if somebody comes to you in distress, depressed, threatening to hurt themselves, kill themselves, please take them seriously. Please take it that this is a sign that I should step in and I should do something. I should try and help them. Hello, Jasper. Don't just ignore them. Don't tell them to go away and they're being silly. Because you could save somebody's life by just not ignoring them. So, go in peace, all of you. And remember what I've always said. Remember my motto. Don't dream it, be it. Life is yours to create. And I've got a tail in my face. So, um, now comes to the happy bit. The YouTuber we're shouting out this week is... Drum roll, Lance Stewart. He's a great, he's a really lot of fun. He's a really funny guy. Go check him out. You'll love him. Um, and he's got this gorgeous mate called Chris, who is quite frankly hottest thing I've seen on 